Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Breed and Find Out. I think I've decided that I like filming in front of this bookcase the best out of the three that I have. It's the one that's furthest from the window, so I think that the lighting might be best from it. I think, I don't know, like I'm not as bright white as I was on the, the shelf that's closest. And then I don't like filming in front of my middle shelf for some reason, the one that's non-SFF. <laughs> Anyway, today I'm coming to you with a book review. I received an ARC of this book through Library Things Early Reviewers Program, and it came from Candlewick Press, and I get ARCs from Candlewick Press, like, semi-consistently. And that was for On Snowden Mountain, which I recently talked about in my September and October wrap-up. This book was released in September. It's a middle grade historical fiction book set in World War II. Our protagonist is Ellen, who lives in Baltimore with her mother while her father is away fighting in the war. Her mom has always had struggles with depression, however it's become particularly difficult for her mother right now with her father being off fighting in the war, and her mental health is really impacting the state of their home, how Ellen is being cared for, really Ellen's not being cared for, it's almost verging on negligence and neglect because her mother just is not capable in that moment of doing what needs to be done to take care of her. So the two of them move off into the mountains of, I think, like Northern Virginia or something, if I'm remembering correctly, or it could be Kentucky. I can't entirely remember, but Snowden Mountain is the area that they have moved into to live with her mom's sister. Her mom's sister is familiar with the bouts of depression that her mom has experienced throughout her life and what her mom really needs during those periods of time. And they have decided to kind of get back on their feet living with her while they wait for her father to return. This community is very small, rural country, and it's not what Ellen is used to, so she's really having to adjust to that as well as thinking about her mom's mental health concerns. So I'll go over what I liked about this book, what I didn't like so much, and then what I gave it as a star rating. I really like seeing mental health examination happening in middle grade. I think that these topics are important and that it's a good thing to go ahead and get young readers to start thinking about them. And while I see a lot of representation for various things in middle grade literature, I feel like I don't see as much mental health representation. I'm more likely to see racial or LGBTQ+, but not so much mental health. So I think that's very valuable. I also liked seeing the themes of kind of personal growth and expanding your perspectives as you become familiar with other people and cultures. I liked that, though I do kind of have a caveat that I'll mention in the dislikes about it. Kind of coming to understand that just because this is not how my way of life has been doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, or just because someone else's way of life and culture is different doesn't mean that it's bad, we just live in different functioning societies of a sort. I also thought that this did a pretty good job of exploring intergenerational trauma and kind of cycles of violence that families can get into. Not to say that that is how trauma and violence always happens, but there is a cyclic kind of nature to it. And I liked seeing that middle grade readers are going to be encountering that when they read this book. Now though, for the dislikes, which I feel like really closely relate to what I liked, I know that I gave all of these themes that I enjoyed seeing and I liked that middle grade readers were being presented with them as topics for consideration. However, there were some times that I felt like this book was doing in a way that I didn't know was appropriate for middle grade readers. It... I have a complicated relationship with the themes of this book because I, I do like them and I think that they are important for middle grade readers. However, some of the just like blunt violence that was presented, I just thought might be a little bit much. And there were some times that I thought that maybe the themes would go over the heads of middle grade readers, like it doesn't connect with them as much. I feel like it's kind of a fine line when you're working with middle grade students or middle grade kids in talking about these topics without bringing up something so serious and heavy that like they can't deal with it developmentally. I'm not saying that we don't need to talk to kids about these topics, I just think that the developmental considerations are important. And I also don't think we need to shelter them from these topics, it's a really difficult thing. This book was less than 200 pages long, so I think that that was beneficial, but it was almost... I, I almost think that because it was so short, maybe 
if we had just focused in on one issue over the other. I think presenting intergenerational trauma and violence and mental health concerns in the same book was just a bit much. And I think it was a bit much just because the book was so short, so to have both of those kind of crammed in made me feel like the examination often was just at the surface level, which I think could be okay for middle grade readers, but at the same time they were both so heavy that I don't know what I think about it. And then there's the other thing that I disliked about this, which I mentioned previously is kind of something that I liked. I liked seeing Ellen grow as a character in how she was viewing the people who lived in the Snowden Mountain area and seeing how she interacted with their culture and kind of grew to accept and understand the people who lived there and the people who were there like at her school for example. I liked that, however it started out where she was just very judgmental of them which made her feel like an unlikable character to me at first. I understand that maybe a 12 year old <coughs> isn't going to understand and get along with people who are so different from them, especially during that time period, but it just kind of annoyed me at the same time. And I ended up feeling better about it because she did grow and I knew that it was an area of growth for her, so that was nice. And I was also trying to cut her a little bit of slack just because of everything that she was going through, but it irked me a little bit and I feel like it took a little while to get to a good resolution for that. I don't mind seeing the character going from judgmental to less judgmental to more like open-minded and considerate, but there were times where she did things that I found to be a bit mean-spirited, and I feel like mean-spirited isn't exactly the same as judgmental. Judgmental, I feel like, can come from a place of ignorance or not understanding, whereas I feel like mean-spirited is I'm trying to hurt their feelings or I'm picking at something that I know will bother them. And I didn't like that. <laughs> she does grow as a, a person and I can appreciate the growth, but that was just my own personal take on it. Anyway, I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars because like I said, I really liked the themes and the exploration of some of the topics. I think that maybe it just would have been better for this audience with being less than 200 pages if they had focused on one heavy topic instead of kind of bringing in multiple things. Not to say that real life is that isolated in how we deal with heavy topics, but I think developmentally for a middle grade reader and for it to be less than 200 pages, that would have made the most sense. However, I did really enjoy it and I liked seeing these themes in middle grade and I liked to see the growth from the main character. Sorry if you can hear that, I think that I'm starting to get a little bit of a cough probably because I work in a school full of children who are all getting sick. <laughs> anyway, comment down below and let me know if you have read this book and what you thought of it, or if you plan on reading it. Thank you for watching, hope you have a good day, and until next time, bye. bye.